Well, social services in the UK have come under fire for forcibly taking children from their parents for seemingly minor reasons. Care workers insist they are always putting the best interests of the children first, but families say they're needlessly broken up, and critics claim the system is all wrong. RT's Laura Emmett investigates. A woman jailed for waving to her children across the street. A mother in court over sending her eight-year-old son a birthday card. They may sound like surreal sound bites from a totalitarian state, but actually they're headlines from the UK. Christopher Booker is an investigative journalist who's looked into what he calls forced adoption. I had a case the other day where a mother was about to deliver her child in a, in a hospital and five policemen and two social workers came into the delivery room to seize that child. Five policemen with a, with, with a mother who is helpless lying there giving birth to her baby. I mean, it is, you can't believe such things are happening. This family is now a happy one, but it was once torn apart and anger remains at the actions of social services. Little Constancia's elder sister was taken into state care aged just four months and social workers wanted to take Constancia too at birth. I did think my, my daughter had come back to us after, after a time, but um, she ended up being put up for adoption uh, about uh, three years ago. My daughter was about to come back to us when um, a psychologist came forward and diagnosed us uh, as paranoid, depressed, and he used a, a term remote. And on the basis of that, it, it was harder to get my daughter back. Although that diagnosis was refuted by other doctors, it took John Fowler five years to get his daughter back. She was taken on evidence from his 11-year-old stepson, who accused John and his wife of hitting their children, something they deny. I wouldn't say I was a brilliant stepfather. There was um, there was uh, problems in the house, but there, it, I didn't think it merited taking my daughter into care, you know, and, and take, putting them into care themselves. Um, I think the problems could have been addressed uh, in, in a better way. There are around 60,000 children in care in the UK, half a percent of the total child population. Christopher Booker says there are hundreds, possibly thousands of cases a year in which children are wrongly taken, and he's suspicious about the motives. There is a very considerable amount of money to be made for, for, for uh, if you're an adoptive parent you take in one of these children or you're a foster carer, you can get £400 a week for each child, which is, a, if you have two or three adopted children, it's a hell of a lot of money. So the whole thing has become a very nasty, inhuman racket. At the other end of the spectrum, there are shocking stories of abuse and neglect, such as the infamous Baby P scandal. In that case, social workers failed to remove a toddler from his parents, who ultimately tortured him to death. Social workers say it's a fine balance and that the goal is to keep families together wherever possible. It's, it's going to be a debate that goes on and on and on. Either we're, you know, we're, we're too accommodating of parents who have um, obviously difficulties in caring for their children or we're overzealous and we're, we're just taking these children um, and, you know, really swiftly and promptly and just placing them for adoption and, and, and those are two extremes. It's a process that's shrouded in secrecy by the law and social services refuse to discuss individual cases. But they do say that once a child is in care, the priority is to have them adopted as soon as possible. That emphasis led to John Fowler's daughter being advertised in a local newspaper like these, a practice that's become commonplace. John Fowler's story has a happy ending. He got his elder daughter back, although she's still under surveillance by the social services, and fought to keep baby Constancia. For some children, being adopted represents a chance for a better life. But there are other families who claim they're torn apart by the social services without good reason, and they say it's a life-changing injustice. Laura Emmett, RT, London.